So within Zappable, you can give the users of your app that you're building for your own business or you're building an app for someone else's business, the ability to order food within that app. Now to add the order food, you just again click on the little plus icon and then all you need to do is select which online food ordering service they are a part of or if it's one that's not listed and you simply need to paste in that restaurant's menu URL there and we will format it within the app. So users can now just simply open up the app and go and order food directly within the app. They don't need to go to their browser, they don't need to visit a website, they don't need to search Google. Within two clicks of their thumb, they can be ordering food from their, their favorite takeaway. So if you have a business that's part of any of these online food ordering portals, then it's a great way for you to build an app to help garner repeat business. I mean, for example, when you integrate this with a push notification feature, you can keep people aware on a Thursday night or a Friday night or a Saturday night that if they're looking for a bite to eat, uh, they can order from you. Because when people go online or they use Google or they visit one of the food portals directly, there's a whole load of competition. And sometimes they may just decide to order from a different restaurant. Whereas if you have an app that is promoting um, your own business and you can communicate uh, with your users, maybe even provide a little coupon or a discount to go along with it, then it's a great way to attract repeat business. And it's also a great way to find businesses who may want you to build an app for them. Um, you can go through all these various services and try and contact them, pick up the phone, uh, get in touch, send them a proposal via, ma via mail or, or email, explain the advantages that having a mobile app will have their business.